Thank you for checking into coming out and shooting with us at the Jackson Hole Shooting Experience. Um, when we have group experiences, I just want to tell you a little bit about them so that you can give me enough information that I can hone in on the, the perfect experience for you. And we will start with the shotgun bay. Our shotgun bay that we use at the Jackson Hole Gun Club has a five stand, and this means that five people can be on the shooting line at any given time, and between one and two instructors should work with them. There's a big shade tent right behind the shooting area, and there's plenty of space and chairs there for another five people to sit and watch. However, each round, which is 25 clay pigeons being thrown through the air, takes about 15 minutes to 30 minutes Sometimes faster, sometimes slower. It's really hard to, to know exactly how long, but it takes about 15 to 30 minutes. And so if you were there for one hour and you had five people uh, shooting and then they went back and sat down and took a break while the other groups shot, uh, there'd be half as much shooting for each of them compared to a group of five that came up and just continually shot. So if a group of five came and just kept shooting and was really you know, into it going fast paced, it's possible that they could shoot a round in 10 minutes and they could shoot six rounds over the course of one hour. And if they're there for an hour and a half, even more. On the other hand, we have had groups come out that are, are a little bit slower paced and more methodical and three people could take as much as one hour to shoot one round. So it's impossible for us to tell you exactly how much shooting each person will get in. Uh, if we have larger groups than 10, it's just not recommended for the shotgun area. Uh, someone's going to be sitting out a little bit too much, and we can change things around and have everybody fire uh, at 10 clay pigeons and then rotate through. Uh, we'll make it work, but I would generally say that groups of 10 or less in the shotgun bay is the better way to go. So I've told you a bit about the shotgun bay. Now let's talk about the archery area. The archery area has enough space for five or 10 people uh, to be hanging around. If we have two coaches uh, working with the group, you can have three, four people on the firing line at a time. The other people are standing back and, and watching and jeering and cheering and waiting for their turn. And if we have a third coach there, then we can also have a throwing tomahawks, throwing knives, maybe blow guns, uh, shooting the blow darts. We can have that set up as well and have more people actively engaged at any given time. And so that's the archery bay. I'd say that usually about an hour, hour and a half, and most people have, uh, their shoulders are feeling it. They've, they've had their fill after an hour to hour and a half in the archery area. The pistol area, there's a pistol bay at the Jackson Hole Gun Club that is exclusively for pistols. And depends on how much a person wants to shoot. It depends on how you would like us to pace your experience. We can either shoot a lot of ammunition or very little. We can have more uh, instruction and less just fun. And on the other hand, if you want to just have lots of shooting, lots of fun, we can go through a lot of ammunition and have less long-term education involved. In the pistol bay, we have room for probably three benches, which means that we could have 12 or so people there shooting at any given time. In the pistol bay, as in the rifle bay, we only have one person on the firing line for each coach that we have. The other people will be standing back and watching and learning and rotating in as frequently as every couple, two, three, four minutes, rotating in and taking some shots and then we'll bring out a different gun and, and they'll come up and take a turn with that. And then everybody rotates through and we bring out another gun and uh, we'll have several benches going at a time. So that's, that's kind of how the pistol bay goes. It can last anywhere from an hour to hour and a half and uh, everyone stays active and, and having a great time. The rifle bay is located near the pistol bay, and we can have three or four benches going, and again, three or four people per bench, and each bench has one instructor, and the more, more instructors you have and the fewer shooters, the more shooting each person gets. If we are doing the rifle bay, we can also shoot pistols in that area, and this is often a wonderful, wonderful option for groups of 10 or 15 people We'll just have quite a few benches, three or four benches in the rifle bay. We'll have all the rifles and pistols there, make it a three hour experience and everyone can rotate through and just have a good old time shooting them. Something that will really help us 
with honing in on the perfect experience for your group is knowing your budget and knowing how many people are, are the minimum that you can have with us. We have done uh, experiences for groups as large as 40 people. We cannot do groups of 75 all at one time. Now we can break up if you have a larger group. We can break it up into smaller groups and you can send people out 12 at a time, 15 at a time, 20 at a time, and we can make that work and they will get a much better experience. If you are price conscious, let us know that right from the beginning. Generally, it is somewhere from $350 to $550 per person for our large group experiences. And if you don't really care about the top end and you just wanna make sure everybody's having a great time and you don't care if it's 10,000 or 20,000, you just wanna make sure everybody has a great time, let us know that. Uh, I encourage you to look at our TripAdvisor reviews and uh, you can trust us. Um, we're we're going to make money on this. We're a for-profit business. However, we're also not going to not going to rake you through the coals. We have our our pricing. We have our costs. We have our profit margins. We'll work it out. We love it when you just say, "I have this many people and this much money. What can you do for us?" And we can make it wonderful, regardless of what your preferred price point is. Another consideration with large groups is weather. There are only so many areas that have shelter overhead. So if you have a very large group and it rains, we really need to think about that ahead of time. There are some options like renting a tent from a local company, and you would be welcome to do that. The gun club that we use is just fine with the, the tent company coming and setting up a, a, an area over the archery area. Uh, the shotgun area does have a big covering. However, the shooters will actually be shooting out from under the covering, and that's the only way it can be. Fortunately, here in Jackson Hole, usually the rain comes in and it goes away within 10 or 15 minutes. But that can't always be the case. When we do have a large group, the rain contingency is something that, unfortunately, if there's any concern that there's, there's going to be rain, that's a risk that you have to take on, uh, and we, we are not able to do that. We book the coaches weeks, months in advance, and we have promised them that we're going to pay them. We've promised the gun club that we're going to be there, and rain is a risk, but a pretty low risk. I would say that if it is looking like there's going to be rain, probably worth renting a tent. And if you have a smaller group of fewer than 20 people or so, we can probably just organize things at the last minute and improvise and overcome and make things happen without even renting a tent. I look forward to chatting with you in person or by email, or one of our booking gurus will be able to help you set up the perfect experience for you and your group. Thank you so much for your interest and let's go out and have a great time shooting. What the experience did for me and how it will change me as I go back to the corporate world is I'll know people better. With corporate groups who people who maybe know each other uh, professionally, maybe it's the first time they met. What's really cool is to see how by the end of their time together doing this team building experience, they, they're acting as if they've known each other for years. What I loved about it was the safety aspect. The instructors were all about safety. So right up front, you really felt comfortable. Woo! Oh, nice! Oh, you start nice. shooting these guns, maybe you're not hitting the targets right away. By the end of the day, you've succeeded. You've hit those targets. You've had a little bit of competition with your coworkers, and you just end up having a blast. So there was a bonding there that, that really brought us a little bit closer, gave us something to talk about. Building friendships was, was wonderful, and um, you just felt more comfortable with each other. Someone told me that they were coming out to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. If they were to miss coming out and doing some shooting with the Jackson Hole shooting experience, I think that would be a huge loss. It's great team building. It really breaks down barriers and whoever you bring is going to have so much fun with you. There's just no doubt about it.